Pharmacy. How can I help you? Hey, um, I'm trying to get my prescriptions filled. Do you know which ones you needed? Yeah, I need the white ones. Do you know what the medication's for? They're white, and they come in a bottle. Do you know the name of the medication? No, I don't know what they're for. I mean, I've been taking it for like eight years. You should see it there. I have it. So you've been taking the medication for eight years, and you don't know what they're for? They're white. It's the white ones. The small white ones. Small white ones. They're like pills or something. Like a pill. You put it in your mouth. Let me put you on hold. This is the OD Podcast. I'm your host, Fit Pharmacist. Thank you for joining me today in this first ever episode of the OD Podcast. And episode one, what am I doing here? And today, we're going to get into some topics that really, really affects all of us in the healthcare world. Just kidding. But yeah, uh, first episode of OD Podcast. This episode is brought to you by nobody because no one is here yet. So this podcast is basically an extension of what I've been doing before on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, but with more in-depth conversations that I think we need to have in healthcare. So this will be an extension of that. I do plan on having guests on this show. So stay tuned for more of that. Hopefully we get this thing kicked off in the right direction. Breaking news. So either I use my regular voice or I can use my podcast voice. So let me know what you like. Uh, Do you like my regular voice? Do you like my podcast voice when I want to talk in podcast form and I only speak with my teeth when I'm talking to you? Or do you want me to use my DJ voice? You know what I'm saying? If I want to just get real, get real, real serious about some topics, you know that's a little more subtle and a little more intimate. Let me know what voice you want me to use and I'll just be that person forever. Breaking news. Walgreens Pharmacy is set to close a significant number of stores this year. Uh, I read on Fox Business it shows that Walgreens is closing a significant amount of well, quote unquote significant uh, number of underperforming stores. This is a bad thing. It's not good. Is it good for community chains? Is it good for independents? Is it better for independent pharmacies that Walgreens is closed? Currently, Walgreens has about 8,700 stores nationwide. The CEO, Tim Wentworth Wentworth said there'll be a meaningful percentage of underperforming stores or locations would close. Shares have dropped over 45% within the last year for Walgreens. We've seen this before, unfortunately, with uh, these community pharmacy or quote unquote retail pharmacies they close they open up more they buy more they buy out other companies uh i mean i'm just worried for the pharmacists and staff that work at these locations hopefully they can find a you know i mean they should they should be able to find somewhere else to go hopefully they do and hopefully the stores that do take on the weight of some of these stores shutting down they can have proper staffing and help you know, to carry the other burden that the other stores were holding. So that's one thing that I'm worried about. I mean, the staff that have to look for other place to work and for the stores, the pharmacies in the surrounding area, able to pick up the slack, you know, get proper help, you know, take care of their business too. Is this bad for pharmacy? Is this bad for community pharmacy chains? Is this good for independence? 
we'll see we'll see because it seems like this is becoming a trend for the community setting so there's a video that the shade room posted if you don't know shade room the shade room is a popular um i don't want to say tabloid but it's kind of like a tabloid as a popular post uh platform on instagram uh they posted a video of a woman washing her groceries with soap and water in the sink i mean now listen I understand COVID happened. People were scared. People were disaffecting their groceries. But do you think it's still proper to do it now? Do you think we're in the clear that we don't have to do this anymore? I never did, even during COVID. I would clean my groceries with disinfectant wipes, Lysol wipes. You could find Lysol wipes at the time. But I would clean them with Lysol wipes. I wouldn't wash them like dishes in the sink. Now, this is a bit excessive for me but after you know taking a look back and just looking at it i mean seeing it from a distance seeing it from the lens of 2020 seeing it from the lens of covid 19 and the pandemic we went through i understand it i get it i get it i get it but i'm not doing it i'm not going that far i'm not i don't have the time to do all that now i've seen you know what people do with groceries i see like she has a carton of like juice like washing it you're just gonna dissolve the carton away and it's gonna melt in the fridge. So watch out for that. Things that you should wash from the groceries. Number one, fruit. All fruit and vegetables. I always wash my fruits and vegetables. If you don't wash your fruits and vegetables, that's nasty. I'm sorry. Yeah. Even before COVID-19, wash your fruits and vegetables. That's pre-pandemic. That's pre prehistoric washing vegetables. Number two, pots, pans, dishware, spoons, forks, all that stuff. Wash that stuff before you use it. Come on, wash those things. Because people test those things out for some reason. I've seen people putting spoons in their mouth at the grocery store. Spoons that they did not buy. Like, I don't know why you need to test a spoon, but go figure. What else is it going to do? Like, really? Next on the list of things you need to wash, clothes. For the most part, clothes if you're like a thrifter wash the clothes i don't buy underwear from unless it's in a pack but you need to wash underwear when you buy them and some and other clothing too and i think that's it what else you need to wash toothbrushes i mean toothbrush did i say dishware i said dishware plates spoons knives yeah i said dishware already it's off the top of the dome y'all i don't there's probably more but those are the main things you need to wash straight from the grocery store like straight up wash those things and i think that's it anyways make sure you subscribe uh to the channel thanks for listening y'all this is the first episode i was trying to keep it short not too long you know just keep it short right now but we are going to have interviews we're going to have guests on this show if you want to be a guest, hit me up, DM me. If you know anybody you want to be on here, hit me up, DM me. I'm trying to get LeBron James on here. I'm trying to get Drake on here. I'm trying to get Kendrick Lamar on here one day. Like they say, you aim for the stars. Aim for the stars and you land in the clouds. Or is it aim for the moon and you land on the clouds? Well, you got you to gotta aim high. Just aim high. And eventually, one day you'll be tuning in. I'll be like, hey guys, special guest today, LeBron James. Or Bronny James or somebody, I don't know, somebody that's famous. Oprah. Barack Obama. Hey Barack, man, if you want to be on here, open invite. Michelle Obama. Boy, if you don't get it's Open invite for LeBron. Barack Obama. Michelle Obama. Drake. Kendrick Lamar. Oprah. Winfrey. Yeah, open invite. So if you want to be a guest, let me know. Hit me up. Uh, I do have a lineup working behind the scenes. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's uh, slowly trickling in. Have to organize some things, schedule some things, you know, pay some things. You know what I'm saying? Just go around, you know, things like that. You know what I'm saying? So, but yeah, thank you for listening. Peace.